Hi guys, it's D Day. And we are up early, it's not even 5 a.m. And we are loading up the car. I have at least a 40 minute drive. So we are getting things in the car. Most of it is already in there. We've already did most of it. Um, my big bins and let me show you. So I have a giant bin and it has a handle and it has a little wheels. And then I have the smaller bin there. There's things that didn't fit, so we'll put those in as well. And we have a box as well. So all done. <laughs> Okay guys, it's early, it's early and I'm in the car. It's still dark outside. I'm on my way. See you there. All right guys, this is the before. Everything is in, but now we got to set up. All right. All right guys, here we are. I hope you can hear me. There's Mickey from Gotcha Hooked. We're all getting set up. Hopefully, um, yeah, I think we're doing really good. We, uh oh, sorry guys, we have a little bit of a crochet emporium. I'll show you. Alright guys, we are ready to go. Um, there is another Omega Roomist here, so she, her stuff is a little bit different, um, but she does have uh, some things that are similar. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, first sale, 15 minutes in, I have sold the Christmas Opto. The Ricky's awesome pieces. Okay, next thing we have the raffle. I'm trying on all Ricky's things. <laughs> so nice. Alright, guys, the day is just about over. And as you can see, we had a good day. We had a very good day. Thanks for all the support. Everything that you guys hoped and prayed for really did happen. It was wonderful. There's a, hey, look who came to support she us. <laughs> she likes pink things. She likes pink things and she cannot lie. <laughs> hey guys, it's the day after and it was great. In the car, I swore I wasn't going to crochet, but here I am. I can't. I, I'm like, I, I can't not. I didn't crochet all day yesterday, though, so that's good. Anyway, I will be back later with a uh, recap of the um, craft fair. Third 
her partner in crime was Ruby and she doesn't have a YouTube channel but you will see her in all the pictures when any of when we are together Ruby is also there so um, we all had a great time our space that we we occupied was 210 by I think 210 by 30 spaces so we had 10 by 60 we had three tables I had all of my little carts and stuff and I still really didn't have enough room for my stuff. Thank goodness Vicky gave me a corner of one of her tables. Vicky had, basically we had a crochet in Korea. And uh, Vicky had so many beautiful uh, wearables and um, um, Ruby had bags and slippers and uh, it was just great. It was great. Now, there were other crocheters there. Um, thank goodness we were differentiated from them. The one, one was also making our nigga roomy like me. However, uh, she was using a, a four weight yarn and hardly any of my stuff was in four weight. I used mostly velvet, parfait, blanket, that kind of thing. So that was good. So that separated us. And then there was um, the other lady who was crocheting. She had blankets, she had coasters, she had hot pads, she had that kind of thing. And we didn't have that. Vicki had a couple of blankets, but for the most part, that's not what we had. And then, um, what else? The other lady that had a little bit of crochet. Hold on, I'm going to fix my camera. Okay, so the other lady who had just a tiny bit of crochet at her table, she was just selling it for somebody else. So she didn't have a lot. So yeah, it was great. Alright, so um, what did I learn? I learned, uh, or at least um, I was really looking at it to see what the market would bear. So there were some things that I should have uh, and could have and will next time charge more for. of know based on what sold kind of where my price point should be for the future probably but I probably have to do a few more markets to determine that um what else um I will say that my best customers um were young folks uh either kids or young adults or teens so that was cool they really loved it they would walk by and they would have to stop and look and they would walk away and they would come back and uh, purchase things so uh, that was very very cool and let's see I think that's it I think um yeah oh the other thing I wanted to say that I what I did um there are people who always want to know or the question you see a lot is how much should you bring to a uh, how much is enough how many objects do you need to feel like you have enough and um that does it's really going to depend whatever how, how big your space is i honestly had more things than i had space for like for instance my t-shirts and my hats i need a better way to display them i sold a few but i bet you if i had had them where people could see them i would have sold more so that was that but I learned from this girl on Instagram. Her name is Emmy Sue Designs, and I'll link uh, her her uh, her account below, her Instagram account below. But she shares a lot of information about you know doing markets and stuff. So I learned a lot. Um, but one of the things that she does is that rather than um, deciding how many objects will be enough. She said that she would decide on how much money she wanted to make and make sure that she brought more than enough to get to that goal. And so I, that's what I did too. As much as I looked at certain things and I was like, ooh, well maybe I don't have enough. When I added up how much, based on the prices that I put on things, how much I actually had, I had enough to get to the goal that I had hoped for and I definitely did. So. Um, I'll talk more later about what sold, what was the most popular, and I will give you specific numbers as far as the number of items that did get sold, okay? So I'll be back. Okay, 
gang, um, let's wrap this up. Uh, I just want to say it was fantastic. Um, I want to say thank you to all of my, my, my friends that came. I had friends from work, friends from church, um, uh, crochet pals, fiber friends come out and support us. I'm so grateful. Some really crazy stories that I won't get into here, but if we meet up one-on-one, -on -one, I'll tell you all about it. <laughs> but, um, we had a blast. It was so much fun. I don't know how people do them um, back to back, like, because I'm wiped out. Um, but uh, I am completely worn out, but it was so worth it. It was so much fun. So let me tell you what I sold, okay? I got a list. I had typed up a list um, of everything I had and the prices that i came to and let me talk about the prices so when i started this i really looked at it as my opportunity to sort of test the market to figure out what the market would bear um proof of concept like i if it was successful i would you know uh i wanted to figure out if it was something that was worth me doing so either way whether it had been successful or not i was going to look at it as a learning experience now fortunately for me it was successful uh, very very excited about uh everything about it um and i learned a lot i did a lot of learning beforehand and i um learned a lot during the experience um Vicky was so amazing uh, just to even invite me and it just really helped me to be able to do it and do it with confidence to have her there um, and to have her supporting me and really just fantastic. So a lot of the pictures and things that I will put in here, Vicky took those pictures and I really appreciate that. I was not great. Uh, when I look back on it, I didn't really take a whole lot of pictures um and so i really thank her for that and our other friend ruby who was with us um we just had a good time and then afterwards um vicky me ruby we were the ones that vended and then pam from pamela's crochet in the corner and uh z from zelda in our in our j3's channel we all went out to the olive garden afterwards so we just we had a great, great time because we didn't eat most of it. We didn't really eat. And um, Ruby ate, but the food, they didn't have a lot of really good selections. And we just didn't want to have upset stomachs or anything anyway. So, you know, because we had to vend all day. So we didn't really eat anything. So we were starving by the time it was time to go home. So we just found some place near, sat down, enjoyed ourselves, laughed and talked and had a really good time. All right. So overall, it was a wonderful experience. Let me show you. Let me tell you what happened here. So I made three of the big turtles, all three sold. I had made two medium sock monkeys and one large sock monkey. Only one of those sold, and it was the medium. And the reason why that one sold is because the dad came up to the table. The, the table really, kids were really, really drawn to the table, right? And people with kids and grandkids. <laughs> Uh, so, um, his dad came up with his little toddler girl and she actually looked like she had been crying anyway. She really wasn't having the best of time. She was probably overstimulated by everything that was going on in that room. And, um, it, um, so he picked up one of the sock monkeys and he was talking about how much she loves. She's very tactile. She likes to put soft things. She likes to cuddle with soft things. So he gave it to her. And she put it in her arms, and she cuddled it immediately. Then he tried to take it away. And you guys know how that went. <laughs> her mom was like, mm, Dad, you forgot. Now you got to buy it. So he did buy it for her, and that was good. So that's the sock monkey. Uh, so two of the dramas sold. The bigger drama, somebody had already put a hold on that one, and they came and they bought it. And then the small drama, the pink one, I believe, did sell. So two of those sold. Um, the Santa gnomes that we made for um, the Christmas in July uh, make-along that we did, uh, I made two, and both of those sold. Plus, I had another Santa gnome that was based on the pattern from One Dog Wolf that I had made a couple years ago, and it's just been packaged up this whole time. So I put that out. That sold. 
uh, believe it or not, you know, uh, the rag dolls were not popular. Only one sold, uh, and that was the princess, the, the brown skin one. One of my, my friends bought it for her new baby niece. Uh, okay, so amongst the octos, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen octos. Some of them were small, some of them were large, and then I had one extra large, so I had 15. The extra large, um, okay, let me go back. So I sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine octos. Nine octos sold. Um, well, ten when you include the extra large, the big Christmassy one, okay? So that sold. All of the Brontos are gone. They sold. There was one left, and I ended up trading. And I, I didn't even pull them out. I'll show you another time. I traded two pairs of earrings with one of the vendors next to me because she had a grandchild who liked uh, dinosaurs. So she took the Bronto, and I picked two pairs of earrings from her booth. So all Brontos are gone. Both the snakes are gone. Um... The two small bears, um, one was the bear in pajamas, and the other one was uh, hmm, the bear in like a sweater. That bear, those two were gone, are gone. The uh, fuzzy gray koala that Jordan really wanted, that one sold. Um, one of the bunnies in the hood. And I gave away uh, the one of the baby bear lovies to my friend who just had a, a new grandbaby. So that didn't really count as a sale. The hippo sold, and you just have to watch, watch for. Yeah, you might already know who got that hippo. <laughs> Comment down below if you know who who got that hippo. Um, let's see. I had 18 octos because I had a medium octo. I had a small, large, medium, and extra large. And the medium one didn't sell. So I sold uh, 10 out of 18 or something like that. Then I sold four t-shirts and two hats. One of the t-shirts went because they had a raffle that we contributed to. They had all the vendors contribute. And so, uh, whoever won the raffle, they got a $10 gift certificate to a specific booth. So, this was the $10 gift certificate to our booth. And the booth, um, so he came over and he picked the t-shirt. So, he, this paid for half of the t-shirt. And then he gave me another $10 and he got his t-shirt. So, that is what I have. So, the very first thing that sold was that Christmas, um big red octo with the christmas snowflake eyes that's the first thing that left and right after that the two santa gnomes left the smaller santa gnome that i had people kept picking it up putting it down picking it up putting it down but eventually somebody picked it up and kept it um the thing i sold the most was for sure the octos uh but one person bought two brontos and the two snakes um all right and yeah, so that was that. And um, so what I will say is that people love the stuff. Uh, folks kept looking, kept looking. And uh, it was busy. It wasn't like we were overwhelmed, like I said, but it was enough traffic to where we could have a successful day. I definitely had a great day. Um, it was it was great. And then I think that's everything. I mean, I look forward to doing it again. I probably will... If I can find something to vend at for uh, African American History Month, I would do that. Otherwise, I'm going to probably wait until spring um, to um, do another show. How did I do figure out my pricing? Again, I was trying to figure out what the market would bear. And so, at first, I had price. Some things, I actually took them down. I took down the price. I made them a little less. Because A, I didn't want to bring them home. B, I wasn't sure what the market would bear. 
but a couple people told me I should have uh, kept them up higher. So in the future, I will. Um, but really, I did a lot of research on, I watched certain people on um, Instagram who share about the pricing of their, a lot of people won't talk about it. And I'm not going to give you specifics about my pricing because really, honestly, the pricing is going to be based on your market. So, um, the market might bear one cost here that it wouldn't bear in rural, you know, Michigan or whatever. And so you can't really go by what other people are are pricing their things at. But what I did was I looked on Etsy and I looked at sellers who were selling certain things on Etsy similar to what I was selling. And then I would check, not just look at if they were selling it, but check what was being sold, you know, like how many sales did they actually have? Um, and what their ratings were and that kind of thing. So I did research on Etsy. I did a lot of market prep videos. I watched, um, as many as I could, uh, anything I could find on YouTube. And then I just sort of, you know, rolled the dice and came up with some prices, um, that I thought, I wondered if, um, I didn't know. I just didn't know. I just didn't want to give the stuff away, but I didn't want to market so high that I wouldn't be able to sell it. So I had uh, a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, Items, 50, wait, uh, 51, 52, 53, 54. Okay, so just in the plushies without including the, um, without including the clover and bramble sets. If I put them in, you will say that I had 60 items. Out of the 60 of those, um, including the four hats, well, okay, including the hats. Okay, let me take the hats and items in. So 64 items, no, 60 items, and taking out the hats and the shirts, 33. So just over half. It feels like it's more than that. Because of what I brought home. I didn't bring home 33 items. I sold, I don't know. I, I might be counting wrong. But right here I wrote, I, got, I sold 39 items. And that makes a little bit more sense from what I brought home. Anyway. I had a lot of stuff. I sold a lot of stuff and it was fantastic. So I look forward to doing it again and that's going to be it. I'm going to wrap it on up right here and uh, next video. Uh, yeah, we'll talk. I, I swore I wasn't going to crochet today, but of course I did. And um, I want to try and cut fabric today, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm so tired. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your support. Everybody who expressed belief in me, everybody who just reassured me that it was going to go well and it really, really, really did. So uh, I thank you so much for your support. I was able to move forward with this. Even you all who, who, because I was expressing the desire to do it, you guys were bringing me the information, telling me. And eventually I ended up doing the one with Vicky. So I want to again thank her, thank Pam, thank Z, uh, Ruby, and uh, just everybody. And all the, you guys like Lori Gray and uh, Sheree Covello and Angela Young. All of you guys sent me messages and wished me luck. And, you know, and if you didn't do that, you commented on the videos and said you really believed it was going to go well. I All of you guys, so many comments, so much support. Thank you. And it was wonderful. We had a fantastic day. And uh, I think that's going to be it. That's going to be all for this video. Until we meet again, keep it crafty. Bye. Mm -hmm.